Raw electricity is an awe-inspiring force of nature. We tame it, harness it, and too often take it for granted. Although it increasingly powers our lives, many people simply don't know what it is. What is electricity? Ah, electricity is pretty much... Oh. Any idea what the scientific definition of it is? Uh, no, I don't, I don't know what it is. Any idea what it actually is? Maybe, I forgot though. <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> since I studied electricity. It, it's, it's run by, oh man. <laughs> oh God. Electricity is a, uh, oh well, I don't know how to say it. We use it all the time. In this half hour, we will unveil the mysteries of electricity and show how best to use it safely. Each year, the Safety and Training Division of the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power educates thousands with its presentations. That's 12,000 volts that's going to ground. So, for example, if we're going to do some work on this house, maybe work on some rain gutters or maybe put up some holiday lights, and we're not being careful where we put this metal conductive ladder, and we lean this ladder up against the weather head. <laughs> So something that you're going to learn about electricity is it can be your friend or it can be very, very dangerous. And we're going to cover some concepts with that. Remember these basics. Electricity is at the heart of all matter in the universe. Here, electrons, negatively charged particles, rotate around an atom's nucleus, which has a positive charge. All atoms have electrons. When there's a big enough potential difference in charge, electrons start to flow from one atom to another, a phenomenon we call electricity. Materials vary in how readily they allow electrons to flow. If a current flows easily, the substance is known as a conductor. In our power system up in the air, we either use aluminum or we use copper. And those are two very good conductors for us to let our electricity go to get to you so that you have electricity at your home. Common conductors include metal and water, especially salt water. Since humans is 70% salt water, people make good conductors too. Because electricity went through my arm right here, and it blew out a hole in, on this side and, and out this knuckle right here and, and out this knuckle over here. Poor conductors like glass or rubber have their electrons locked up tightly. We call them insulators. An insulator is material that will not let electricity flow through it. That's why electric distribution mechanics who work with electricity wear both rubber gloves and boots. The protection is far from absolute. When an electrical path is completed, it's called a circuit. You have a light switch over here, it's in the off position. The electricity comes up to the open light switch, and when you close that switch, you complete the circuit to let it go up to the light. And then it goes through the light and back down to the ground, and then back to where it was originally processed from. So you have the circuit, and what you don't want to become is part of the circuit. Whenever a flow of electrons starts, it will move from excess to deficit, negative charge flowing to positive. Normally, electrons complete the circuit, but if there is a shortcut, electricity will take it. Short circuits are easier paths for electricity to take because the electrons don't pass through a device that uses electrical power, which acts as a resistor. If, for example, conductors touch where they shouldn't, like this penny that melted onto a plug, short circuits can heat up and cause a fire. When given the chance, electricity will always take the shortest path to ground, which is a direct electrical connection to the Earth. But remember that electricity has a relationship to ground, so electricity is always trying to get back down to the ground. What our job is to do is to not let it get back down to the ground. Somehow I got in contact with that line. It blew me across the sidewalk, I was on fire, and my heart stopped be uh, beating. And they came running up and they found me on the sidewalk. They rolled me, got the fire out, and then they had to give me CPR. The best thing to do if you want to work on a light or change the light bulb is simply turn the switch off. Go ahead and change the light bulb out, screw it back in, do whatever you got to do, and then flip the switch back on. You're very, very smart. That way there's no electrical hazard, no dangers, right? How do we make electricity? In a power plant, coal, natural gas, or nuclear fission heats a boiler to produce steam. This spins giant turbines in a magnetic field to produce electricity. Sometimes, as in a dam, water spins the turbines. The Los Angeles Department of Water and Power is committed to generating more than a third of its electricity from green, renewable resources by the year 2020.